Welcome to Commentary Time. I am your host, Randy. Sitting next to me is... Katie. And... Dana. Welcome, y'all. How you doing? Hope you're, hope you're enjoying your day out there in internet land. I know we are, because you know what film we're about to do? What film? What film? <laughs> you guys know. Stop lying. <laughs> you're lying. You know we're going to do... Uh, I, what the fuck is this movie actually called? I believe it's called Caravan of Courage, which is the stupidest name for a movie ever. I can't find the DVD. It's called Caravan of Courage. It is the first of the two live-action Ewok films. If you've been following before, you know that we have been doing uh, commentaries for the Star Wars films. We've done Star Wars episodes one through six, and we're going to be doing the two live-action Ewok films, and then around Christmas time, oh yes... The Star Wars Holiday Special. Holla! Boom. We're going to have a group track for that one that's going to be painful, but maybe it'll be less painful the more people we have doing it. So, so if you if you know the drill, you know, if you have the movie at home, sync it up. Uh, if you don't have the movie at home, which you might not because this is a little more obscure, um, you can listen along podcast style and just enjoy us rambling nonsensically about what is inevitably a terrible film. So, uh, in, I, I think it's going to be great. We've got the film queued up to uh i have no idea what's queued up to it's queued up to two seconds in the lucasfilm ltd logo is on so if you have the dvd or if you have a vhs of this because i don't even think it's on any other formats <laughs> <laughs> if you have either of those queue it up to two seconds and when we press play we'll tell you we'll, we'll count down three two one and then we will press play and then we will be doing the audio commentary so in three two one play has been pressed oh. Lucasfilm oh logo is shimmering brilliantly in that the sky. That was really exciting right there. It was. This is the Ewok uh, Adventure Caravan of Courage. It is a live action Ewok film. This was made in uh, 1980 something. Four? 1984, I think. 84 was this one and then 85 was uh, the next one. Um, kind of crazy that these are not really well known. They're not. They're just like not well known at all. Is that, is that crazy? Is it really crazy? Well, it is because they're not that bad. Okay. Like when I mean, I, people still watch the prequels with, yeah. you know, some fervor, but we don't talk about these at all. We don't talk about these at all. Like, they kind of have, they're, they're more like cult titles in a way. Um, I, I th When I first became a Star Wars, I kind of became a Star Wars fan sort of late in my life um, because most kids get into Star Wars and they're like, you know, five. I got into Star Wars when I was probably like 12. And I was looking for... And I loved the Ewoks. I just thought they were adorable because I'm a kid and kids like Ewoks because they they're adorable. basically Care Bears for... Wait, is Mace Windu in this? No, but the character's name is Mace. Oh, all right. Um, is that just like a common name in this world? Is it like John? Maybe he's named after Mace Windu. I don't know. Folks out there in internet land, if you do know and you probably don't, um, you let us know. I mean, really, it's just kind of... Sindel's like a Mortal Kombat character, I think. It, it looks kind of <laughs> like a bad horror movie right now. It does. They're about to get killed by Ewoks. Yeah. And then eaten alive. We're in because masks. Ewoks Ewoks in Return of the Jedi are like... They are they were going to eat, like, the whole cast of Return of the Jedi until, like, C-3PO pretended he knew Ewokies, and then they all became friends. It looks like they went shopping at JCPenney for the wardrobe. This is the 1984 JCPenney fall catalog. That's what it looked like. Yeah. Yeah, Mary that's what this Steen is. Version. It's Mary Steenburgen's cousin, <laughs> Lucy Steenburgen. <laughs> She's the lesser Steenburgen. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> their kids are gone. They're looking for their kids, I believe. It's a style and jacket, though. What will they do? They They're crashed. Children. It's weird because continuity-wise, I think this is supposed to take place before Return of the Jedi, but it doesn't make any sense that it does. It actually makes more sense that it would take place afterwards. But... You know, oh, such no. is. Scary monster. Oh my no. God! It's a guy in a costume. He's huge. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe shot from below. <laughs> he shot from a low angle, uh, with fake trees all around yeah, him. He looks and a cool. commercial. Like it. An axe thing. I like it. That caravan of care in Ewok oh, adventure. Oh. Why don't we use this font anymore? That's a. That's that a, It's a great font. That that font's called 1978. Everything's Helvetica <laughs> anymore. This is fantastic. Warwick Day. Warwick Day, he's reprising his role as Wicked the Ewok. Well, thank God. Um, the lovely Guy Boyd is in this, who is in I don't know what else. 
Joe Johnston, who went on to direct Jurassic Park 3. He was also production designer, I believe, on uh, Return of the Jedi and so many other Star Wars movies. Oh, dear. Story by George Lucas, so that mace name is familiar. Mm, yes. um, no, I mean, if you're going to compare this to Star Wars, I mean, Star Wars Holiday Special is is complete shit. This is this is just mediocre, but it's not any more mediocre than anything else from, you know, like prequels or whatever. Sorry if you like the prequels out there, folks in the internet land. Um, <laughs> they're okay. Thing. They're all right. They're fine. Are they camping? Like blows horn yes folks we're watching this without sound um just with subtitles though. and dana uh and and katie have not seen this film so. <laughs> well okay now that's that may not be true as i have not seen them as an adult but i feel like i have seen ewok something or other on television hacked to pieces by commercials <laughs> as a child Totally um, possible. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't like turn it on and go, oh, the Ewok movie is on and watch them from beginning to end. I just am familiar with the films, but not not entirely sure what I've seen and what I haven't. Mm -hmm. This is one that like, um, I, I think they didn't really, yeah, people are really confused as to whether or not this is considered canon. Um, it really doesn't work as canon but it is just sort of like a neat sort of like side story about the ewoks if you like the ewoks here are there are two movies and here yep, are no, three yep, hours no. worth of ewokies i mean their costumes worse in this than in the regular movies because they look worse i think they're actually the same costumes are you serious well it they would probably use in return of the jedi they probably use like um they use better oh, angles. I wish I knew what this narrator sound like, sounded like. Oh, he sounds like every 70s narrator <laughs> you've ever heard. He's like, the Ewoks travel down the village. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> you, know, you know Grandpa Seth from Troll 2? Yeah. He sounds yes. like Grandpa Seth. Yes, yes. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry Perfect. that we're, we're losing some of the audio here because cause the narration is pretty hilarious. Yeah, but those those very clearly just look like people in costumes and like really shitty like costumes yeah they look like oh, bad wicked onesies. must stay poor wicked i do remember wicked mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. he's cute and stuff wasn't there an animated mm -hmm. version of this too mm -hmm. okay there he, was maybe we'll do that pieces next of the 80s are coming back to me <laughs> the 80s comes alive with the ewok adventure <laughs> i had a book i remember that i don't remember why i had the book because i don't know where i got probably because your family mistook them for the care bears <laughs> entirely possible, like little yes. bears people like little bears dana little dana likes little bears i did like little bears yeah and these are oh. little bears oh, there's no. apparently goats oh, no. there's apparently goats on the forest mood of endor well, yeah i mean fair enough there should be <laughs> well when uh, shouldn't they be like space hi, goats i love their They're expression is expressionless faces yeah, oh, yeah wicked. wicked wicked died oh my god is, is he sad is he happy i can't tell i yeah because they're emotionless <laughs> George Lucas added blinks for Return of the Jedi. He did not add blinks uh, for the Ewok films, the live action Yeah, I mean, I, I have no idea. This, according to IMDb, this, like legitimately had a theatrical run in New Zealand. Are you shitting me? <laughs> I'm sorry, New Zealand. I am so sorry. Strange shining object. Mm, it looks grumbles. like a mirror. It is. If I were to interview Warwick, I had an opportunity once to interview Warwick Davis, but I wasn't able to do it. But I would love to just interview Warwick Davis and ask him only questions about an Ewok adventure. <laughs> I'm sure he's thrilled. <laughs> like, what do you think about that? He'd be like, um, I've done other things besides the Ewok adventure movies. So the, are they only speaking Ewokies? Is that basically all that's going on right now? Yeah, there's a narrator that is kind of, because until the human characters kick into the story, they're speaking. So it's kind of like the holiday special in that they make the mistake of having them speak like, their language for like the first 20 minutes of the movie. <laughs> I mean, that, that was a fantastic. Perfect. This like, is a little so. more because you have a narrator. Na because you have a narrator, it's not as like mostly they're just saying like, yum, nom, yum, nom, 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 yum. Like they're just kind of like mumbling random nonsensical 
like vowels and <laughs> just like kind of putting together words. I am kind of bothered that they don't wear pants. Widow, how yeah, they're, dare you call it nonsense? Yeah. There's probably a scholar of Ewokies. I'm sure there is. There's got to be like some, yeah. there's some guy, if you're out there and you hear this and you want to come on and speak Ewokies for us, let us know. We would absolutely love to have you. It's clearly not as popular as Klingon. Right. Um. Oh. Yeah. This like is, they don't have. That's a guy in a suit. I love that it's basically just people in pair suits. <laughs> Yeah, that... Like in shitty bear costumes you see at like amusement parks. It's yeah. like, not that it's shitty. It's just like, they're just, they're just, you know, they're obviously suits. Um, like I'm watching this and like this, this thing my grandma always says, she didn't like animals because they don't wear pants. And you can see their butts. Like that's how I feel right now. And they're, they have no dicks. There's no dicks on There's any no of these. There's no defining anything on these things. They're, they are just balls of fur it, it sort of reminds me of the maybe their the dicks early... are under their heads because they can't have those covered <laughs> yeah why do they have covers on their heads but nowhere else because you pull it off and there's a big dick behind there like on the back oh of their head that God. could explain so much <laughs> it, it reminds me of the the early planet of the apes films where mm. their faces can't move so there's no like you know expression there's no like motion when they talk <laughs> It's just dead it's eyed. Just some, yeah. Like their dead. ears don't move. Like I have no idea how these guys feel at all. I like uh we were we recently did the commentary yeah. for Return of the Jedi and there's a scene where Leia helps wick it down off of a tree <laughs> and I'm like, This is his natural environment. How does he not know how to get down? They also don't look like they should climb at all. They're no, not climbing. They creatures. don't look like they would survive very long in the forest moon. They um, would be super fun to cuddle, though. They would be. Well, except for the fact that they're expressionless and they feel like ghosts of another okay. animal. But sure. not, not expressionless. There's one expression. one expression. The expression that is, is a sneer. Look at that sneer. <laughs> That's the what face my that? cat puts on. Like that. I, I have this. My cat, Dee Dee, has a face that I call the dumb face. And it's where her mouth is just like vaguely open, but not like completely open. Mm. And then she stares at me like blank eyed. And she'll just look at me with that face. And she's just sort of like. And I'm like, Dee, you have the dumb face on. Put your dumb face away. Um, the Ewoks are this. This is the closest approximation to the dumb face. Oh, there's face. a child. <gasps> they didn't. And they kill her, and she's dead. Okay, so they've been looking for these kids everywhere, but they didn't. They, they didn't, didn't check, check the ship. The sh- plane that Maybe came she came back she after they were attacked. Back. She might have come back. She's all. She's wearing the Sears 1984 catalog. I mean, seriously, that's this the looks like catalog. Bad Sears catalog. No, this is the future. Oh, my Wait, no, future, I'm sorry. It's not. It's a long time ago. Isn't it's it? a long time ago. So we are actually stealing oh, yeah. trends from Star Wars. Oh, Every okay. piece of fashion you've ever seen. Matcha bicha. Like, oh, she will taste quite good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a young, really, feral child. That's a little perverse. Yeah. They were stroking her head like she was really special. Just don't let them take their hats off because that means you'll be seeing their dicks. Mm. Their Ewok dicks. Oh, no. I don't even want to know what that looks like. Yeah, you do. It is slightly green. Mm. Mossy? It's that, mossy. Stop fondling okay. her. What it's, are you doing? It's mossy and it smells like Mentos. Oh. Not like the way Mentos oh. tastes, but that weird sort of dead mm. sugar smell that you mm-hmm. smell on Mentos. That. Okay, yeah. Vaguely, vaguely minty, but not, not quite minty. And their semen is candy. So now there's another, there's a gun toting <laughs> brother who's probably yeah. a young Donald Trump. Well, it's like a laser gun. They shoot him inside of a no, he, ship. No, he looks like every 80s kid ever. <laughs> like, if you look at him, he's just got that, like, 80s kid thing. Fair enough. Don't hurt him. He's my brother. He Why is she like, so dirty? He kind of looked like Justin Long on the cover. Yeah. He did look yeah. a little bit like Justin Long. Not here. That's Justin Long. That actually is Justin <laughs> Long. Uh, it was his big break. Fun uh, fact. Uh, <laughs> let's see who that is. No. We're going we're gonna to check out and see who that is. So they knocked him Eric out? Eric Walker is Mace. Eric Walker appeared in this Ewok film and the other Ewok film. He's Aww. 45 years old oh, now. Oh, poor guy. And uh, one of the last movies he did was a movie called Getting the Munchies. Aww. In 2005, he played Sleepy. It has a 2.9 out of 10. So his career just went up from here. Yeah. It sure. is. It looks to be some kind of black exploitation movie starring a bunch of like actors that I've never heard of. Um, look it up on IMDb. Don't, don't go to him. Don't, He's got don't weird do fingers. Ugh. Don't. Oh, she loves Wicket. You know, I used to think the Ewoks were cute. Well, do they make cute noises? Because I feel like maybe the cute noises that might confuse help. you into thinking that this is cute. But the like the eyes were really red right there. They have like weird big really... fingers. <laughs> 
They have, yeah, it they have like Ninja Turtle toe. fingers. Is it what looks they like have. big toes. They look like Ninja Turtle fingers. <laughs> yeah, fingers they do. They look like big toes. This oh, movie was directed by John Corti, who is now 79 years old. Mm. 79 years young. Um, he's directed other films like Miss Scrooge, Deadly Matrimony, Line of Fire, The Morris D's Story, Baby Girl Scott, Resting Place, and The Ewok Adventure. He did not direct the sequel to this, Battle for Endor. This child has like a Which GPS will also be doing on her a arm, a Fitbit maybe? I'm thinking she's <laughs> tracking her steps because she's watching her figure. She's actually in... True. She, she looks like she's a child, but she's actually 147 years old. Well, you know, that could explain a lot. Never too young to start watching your figure why does it look like she just has a constant barrage of snot on her face <laughs> i think she does i think she does she just... are they gonna eat kush <laughs> <laughs> wow well that makes sense they look like they all just start just they sit around and just get fucking blazed and why is this other kid got so much like drool on his face uh to cut co- probably to cover his acne because mm. he's actually probably like 14 years old that explains a lot Aww. yeah well, that makes me feel sad for him you can see on his chin he's got yeah. I mean, hey, every every kid at that age has acne. You can't hide it. It's an awkward kid phase. I'm still in that awkward kid phase. <laughs> I saw, um, is it Mara Wilson? Is that the girl from, like, the Mrs. Doubtfire movies and mm-hmm, stuff? Yeah. Like, I know, like, Nostalgia Critic did, like, a bunch of reviews, made fun of her, and, um, because she was in some movie where she was, like, a teenager and, and at the time, and, um, just has acne all over. And then she, like, she, like, added him on Twitter, and she, like, got really mad at him, and then ended up showing up, uh, she ended up showing up on his show because he was like, oh, no, I don't mean any offense. It's just show's just, like, funny. It's just oh, we make fun of things. I know. It's just, you know, that's not something I want everybody to remember about me. No. Right? I, and and that's what she was angry about. Is she, so was like, she was like, hey, I'm sorry. I was going through an awkward kid phase at the time. I, also, I follow her on Twitter. She's awesome. One of, one of uh, mm-hmm. my friends was just discussing how lucky people in our age group are that, like, we're still young enough that, like, we're, we're fully entrenched in all of the social media and... You know the interwebs and all of that, but we weren't. They wasn't around when we were in high school. Oh god! So there is no evidence of all of the shit from oh high god. school and even early college. It wasn't quite a thing. I yet. know you get rid of like all that. Because you did a gone. Spice Girls video that I'm sure would be on Facebook <laughs> now if you had done it when you were in. How dare you! <laughs> How dare you! You're fired. We actually uh, know somebody who ha- has actually become an actor of some notoriety, and we have very embarrassing videos of him uh, <laughs> in Latin Club. <laughs> oh, Latin Club! It's a, it's a place where embarrassing videos are born. Hmm. Even so in the nineties. But I'm not going to mention the actor. I don't want to. Don't want to embarrass him. <laughs> God, look at it! It just looks like something. It looks like somebody came all over her. What I know. the fuck is Did, wrong? Did like a slug walk across her face? <laughs> yes, like, you're a fucking s- slug on her face. Are like, they why super are they so gross? Or are they drooling everywhere? They're fucking gross. Wait, Everybody no, looks gross. Wait, no, she's sick. That's how we know she's sick. And she they've been giving her, on her face. weird fucking medicine for the past like ten and minutes. Kush, and Kush, apparently. Kush. <laughs> They're like Kush. It makes you feel good. Yeah, fair enough. Tiny horse. Tiny horse, little Sebastian. Aww. Oh, little Sebastian. Bye, bye, Sebastian. <laughs> There's like nothing about the Ewoks that's functional are in there, this environment. Like there, they can barely uh, even carry logs. Are their fingers like? Do they do anything? They clearly can't grab those logs. Oh, no, yeah. they just set well, logs they can on their wrestle. Forearms. Look at them wrestling. Oh, they're, they're actually they're no. lovers. Oh, it's cute. It's good. It's good for them. Good for them. I'm all about equal Ewok marriage equality. I'm really curious, like, because you know, actually, we kind of talked about it on the Return of the Jedi commentary, like what the furry Aww. community thinks of this movie if it's like a cult hit among like if it's sort of like a camp hit among furry community she's coughing, guys that's a good question um if anybody's out there furry community you want to you want to chime in let us know in the comments because i'm actually kind of curious um i know like in the movie fanboys they kind of had like a fury jo- uh, uh or uh, not paul paul the movie paul um nick frost is a is a furry in that and it's like really into ewoks <laughs> So I'm really curious, like, if that's, you know, Aww. if this is, like, yeah. if is this, like, the Rocky Horror Picture Show for, like, the furry <laughs> community? Because I could see it being that. I could, yeah, I could, I could see genuinely that. see it being, like, or we're offending every furry that exists right now. Like, I would Fuck like to you, see this yeah. in yeah. theaters with, like, people up dressed like them. And Absolutely. I mean, you know, that's what's, that's what's well, awesome about fandom. Well, you wouldn't fandom. be able to wear masks anymore. Well, that's true. Yeah. But those aren't masks. Those are, that's an outfit. 
That's an entire persona. That is who I am. Yeah, that's who they are. I don't know if you can... Yeah. Well, and you would be able to do, like, face makeup, which would be really interesting to, to do a... a the narrator of that. is Bur- Burl Ives. Oh, Burl Ives. Who did Rudolph, oh, yes. Rudolph the Red Nose Ring. I'm really sad we can't hear Burl Can Ives we do right commentary now. for Rudolph? <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah, maybe yes. one of these days. Yes. Maybe next Christmas Please. we'll do uh, Oh, we'll do a bunny. That. Why do they have a bunny in their nose? As long as they don't eat it. We are anti-eating bunnies here. They, they might. Though. As we have. They are Ewoks. As we have. I don't know if we share several this. bunnies living in in our house. I don't think we share the same set of values with Ewoks. I highly doubt we do, since they were going to eat Luke and <laughs> Han Solo, and apparently they were going to eat C three PO and R two D two. I don't know how that would work. So they're but. not going to eat these children. So basically, you're saying they're no, they inexplicably like stupid. the children. Okay. Um, oh well, they only eat the according one she's sick. according I to I, I mean I, let me let me I'm gonna I'm gonna Different. wiki this just because I'm I'm Cover curious. Stop coughing all over the I'm, place. I'm curious how this this uh, falls in canon. Um, I'm, but I'm pretty sure this this is considered to take place before the events of Empire Strikes Back. I'm fairly certain this takes place in Appalachia. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Yes, the the setting, the film is set sometime between episode five and episode six, um, even though that makes literally no sense, um, because it seems like the Ewoks are meeting. They, well, it seems like the Ewoks are meeting humans like for the first time ever in in Star Wars, or perhaps because the Empire has stepped in, they've they've developed a distaste for did that tree of a penis. Humans, it did, it did. Yes, and they're about to touch the penis. It's See, look at their they're rubbing the rod, and oh. now the penis is shooting cum. That they will spread all over her face, all over the five-year-old child's face, oh and make her feel life. better. It is, it is the cum of life. Uh, this commentary is not safe for uh, children, uh, so if there's any uh, children listening, uh, just don't tell your parents that you're Except listening. Except this movie stars two children. <laughs> Except the movie stars. No, the commentary isn't safe. The commentary isn't safe. The, isn't oh, safe. the, no, sorry, the movie is bad. safe for children. No, coming trees is good for kids. True. Oh, oh look, it's a puppet. Oh. It's a puppet. Don't so touch cute. it. Don't touch it, because that could be attached to a monster. It looks like a Furby. Oh, Oh my God, it's so cute. Look at it. Oh, it's gonna... Why are you being all creepy, weird kid? Why is he catching it? What the hell? What a jerk. Yeah, you deserve that. You definitely deserve deserve that. that You were being a dick while they were getting getting semen out of the dick tree. You had to go and be an asshole. If only we had dick trees today. Why is his arm caught? Like, he, like, is it still holding him? Uh, what? Uh, it's a what the? It's a it's penis a, inside the. It's a dinosaur. The, it's a. <laughs> it looks like a. It's the Indominus Rex. <laughs> oh my God! No, Lerdo. <laughs> Thank you, scoffs. He's like, fuck you. Why was there a you dinosaur? You got yourself killed tree? because you had to go and touch something. You don't know what it is. I feel. I feel sick. <laughs> really sicky. I thought it said sticky. <laughs> well, <laughs> they did just get sap from a tree. Oh my god! And they now they're gonna—they've set it on fire. They're like gonna pull some fucking Mr. Miyagi shit here and <laughs> heal her. She does have cute hair though, like yeah. blonde and curly. Super She's cute. adorable. Nice vest, mm. nerd. <laughs> <laughs> did you fall off some kind of ship? Wait, he did. <laughs> he's not Marty McFly. That's right. I'm not sure if these are Ewoks or just like British people from the 60s. It's crazy because this looks like oh, it was. No, put your tongue back in your mouth. <laughs> it looks like this was made in like the late 70s, not like the mid 80s. And if um, you're if you're wondering why I said this, because their teeth are bad. Yeah. Just clearing. If that you've up. never, if you if you're not watching along, if you're just listening, if you're just <laughs> listening to us nonsensically talk about Caravan of Courage. We haven't even gotten to why there's a caravan. This is actually a very Lord of the Ringsy type story. Like they go on like an I, adventure. No. I, I mean, you say nonsensical, but I actually listen to the commentaries that I'm not part of, <laughs> like while I'm at work, and I don't even. Oh, the you film. are a listener. Like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's me. Um, but I, I find them very entertaining, even without the film. I, mm-hmm. I, I enjoy just listening to them like a podcast. I think it's it's workable. Yeah. So but, if you're listening to us like a podcast and you disagree. Shut but up. This one is really like zany. I feel like if you aren't watching it, you should pick it up. This is probably something you can find. Um, you should be able to find this. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is, it might not be in print anymore, but it, last I looked, the DVD was pretty cheap to get. So if you don't own the DVD, um, you can pick it up for pretty cheap. I'm just curious as to where the parents went. 
They were clearly there. Um, they were kidnapped by the thing that they're going to have. That That's the caravan is to go rescue the parents, I believe. Oh, oh. That I was that. incorrect. This DVD is a collector's item that sells for anywhere between seventy and a hundred dollars. Oh. So, <laughs> so we're going to be selling this immediately. When this is over. <laughs> we're going to turn right around and just sell this mofo. No, no, no. Oh, hey, it's a ferret because there's randomly like earth animals that they live. They could have changed the the appearance of the ferret in some way. Like, Attach a, a second set of ears to it, or wings, or, or a, something. A jaunty hat. Or oh, a jaunty hat. A would be jaunty the hat. Why couldn't they put on one of these spazzy little uh, 1980s vests on it? Or, or the all of the animals could wear hoods. In oh, this. yes. Yeah. That'd be fantastic. Or boots or a belt. <laughs> Not that I condone, but you can find this movie on YouTube. I wish we had furry creatures like you. What were. the hell? I'm Alarm. Sorry. <laughs> Come we on. We were supposed to start this earlier. I'm sorry. Come on. <laughs> oh, they came on a Star Cruiser and it crashed. Hmm. If you, in case you guys didn't hear, um, uh, not that I condone, you can find it on YouTube. So you can open another window, look it up on YouTube, and sync it up. I don't think that the Ewoks are very good at sewing. That's it. Star Cruiser. Like, so so waving your hand is a good symbol for that they can understand. They're like, oh, yeah, no, Star Cruiser. We get yeah. it. We're okay. in. We're in now. But it's also pretty I'm much... I'm using a, my Ninja Turtle hand to help. It's the same motion they used in Clueless when they were doing Rolling With My Homies. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. That's what... Oh, I wish we could sync this up with that song right now. Rolling With My Star Cruiser. Rolling With My Homies. Hmm. Wicked. Dead-eyed Wicked. <laughs> Not a care in the world. Oh, look at that. They made a toy. Well, I just, I can't, one. like, I just want no, them to No, that's not just... Star Cruiser either. I, no. I still am thinking of those. Crash, crash, crash. Warwick oh. Davis, stop sticking your tongue out. Because he keeps doing it. He keeps, like, sticking his tongue out. He did that in Put Richard. Your tongue ah! back. <laughs> Stupid. Put your tongue back. It's I don't weird. like that, son. Put your tongue back in your mouth. <laughs> weird, kid. I mean, at least changes up the expression slightly. Well, yeah. To be fair, I wanna. I really hope he's named after Mace Windu. He's not, but that would be awesome if he was. Like, Mace Windu is just such a legendary character that people name their kids after Mace. I'm gonna name my kids after Mace, all of them. I'm gonna have a fleet of children and name them all Mace. I mean, George Foreman did that. Sindel. With his name, his own name. He can't talk. Stop. Out of my tongue is sticking out. Look at that. It's gross. Uh, freaking me out <laughs> freaking me out man he's like whatever i want to give i want to give that shot of him being unimpressed <laughs> put it next to the brendan fraser one he's just like Meh. it looks a lot like the brendan fraser it one does, it does he just called him walking hairbrushes that's fantastic i like him star crash i don't like him <laughs> star crash <laughs> <laughs> Star Crash is a wonderful Star Wars knockoff. Nice stop motion. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm scared. There's the budget right there. Why don't we see that monster Ooh. ever? Instead, we just see ferrets and shit that, like, you can pick up at a petting farm. So they you know? made like, no attempt to alter in any <laughs> they made no way. attempt. So apparently evolution <laughs> has functioned exactly <laughs> identical to Earth on the forest moon of Endor. Except, except the, for the, the Ewoks. Except the Ewoks are evolved, not... Oh, God, that's terrifying. The fur on the Ewoks kind of looks like stuffed animals I had when I was a kid that, like, I'd spill stuff on. And, and then yeah, they'd, they'd get, have to like, a little the, gross. They'd have to go through, like, the washing machine, and they'd get, like, weird and... I feel like the nabbing. Ewoks smell like spit. Like, if you walk up to them, they have that, like, salty, sweet Oh, no, like, no, they, they smell like Comic-Con. <laughs> like like a dog chewed them up. That's where it originated. It smelled like do a dog chewed them up. <laughs> they, yeah. Oh, I, I feel so bad when that stereotype. Wait, what do you is... mean by they smelled like Comic Con? I'm sorry. They smell like body odor. Bio that has been sitting around for a while. Oh, oh god, no. there was like a. Oh, no. I I was at a I was at a Comic Con not that long ago, and I'm walking down an aisle, and there's all these like sword play like medieval guys. And it is just the most foul odor. And I'm just like, I feel so bad because I'm like, come on, guys. This is the stereotype. Yep. Like, can you not be the stereotype? Just please don't wear the same costume three days in a row. No offense to people. Take a shower. You know, it's probably like roller derby uh, um, where, you know, people people begin to wear their smelly pads as a mark of, Ugh, of their accomplishments. I, their I can tell you. 
It's not a mark of pride. <laughs> it's just a mark it's just of a laziness. Mark of not being self-aware. <laughs> yeah. Gotta go find mom and dad. So you were starting to talk about something. Was I? Before <laughs> I reverted, I, before I had to pause and have Katie explain the Comic Con smell. <laughs> Well, I, I was just Come describing their their odor of being kind of. I was telling the story oh, about okay, okay, about the the we, medieval knights people that, that were Ooh, not not to looking. say everybody that is a medieval knight smells bad. Like it's just this nose. specific group of people. Yeah, they they don't all smell bad. No, Same no. With furries. Hygiene they is very bad. hygiene they don't is very either. very insane. I mean, we have some very strict. Roller girls we who have, clean their pads like every practice. We have we have friends and family who do furry stuff or do cosplay. Katie oh, does cosplay. God. What? Katie does not smell. No, hopefully not. Um, <laughs> hopefully not. <laughs> you, you never know after a day I of was, cosplay. I always worry, but you know. <laughs> after a day of cosplaying, you never know. Day yeah. for night. Yeah, this is terrible. That might be actual. Just like heavy lighting. Heavy lighting. Maybe. It is it is day for night, but it looks like because you can s clearly see sun in the background, right. but then like they put like a blue filter on the lens. What the fuck Whoa. is that? I want that. That's awesome. He has oh, a yeah. laser fire starter. <laughs> he I should have a lightsaber. I wish he had a lightsaber. They're talking so much about how they miss their parents who were just there that I day. I want. You know what I want? I want J.J. Abrams to make this <laughs> the most important piece of the Force Awakens. <laughs> Yeah. Folks, folks at home, Internet Land, because you could be watching this in the year 2025 for all I know. We we recorded this about 34 days before The Force Awakens uh, arrives in theaters. And so we don't know anything about The Force Awakens yet. So so all we can do is speculate, speculate, speculate. And I like to make ridiculous speculations like that Han Solo is secretly Luke Skywalker. Yes. And no one knows yet. Um, we're just going to find out that they swapped bodies like. 10 years ago and but i would love for jj abrams to be like caravan of courage guys it is the heart of the force awakens i mean it is these canon. people play crucial roles if i were to make if i were to make a star wars movie um and disney oh, if you're damn. listening to this commentary and you want me to make a star wars movie i'll make a star wars movie for you. <laughs> but if you um if i made a star wars movie i would throw one of these actors in just as like a nod oh yeah um, Man, this little girl is morbid. She's just like she's like she they're dead. No big deal. She's like they're dead. It's been too long. <laughs> I mean, as far as I can tell, it's been a day. I, I, I mean, I maybe it's been know, more, but uh, I think maybe it's been about. I think it's maybe been like two days. They haven't changed their outfits though, so they're getting a well, little it's not like, like they have more. They're outfits. getting a little like those medieval people that we. Oh no, with the thing again. Oh no. Or maybe it's a different thing. I don't know. I think this might be the thing we saw in stop motion before. I do really like this movie for having the balls to actually have some decent effects in it. Like, it feels oh, very yeah. much in line with like the never ending story. Um, like, it has that kind of fairy tale look. It's more of a fantasy is picture. This, is more this of just a... the thing from Princess Bride? No. <laughs> those, ro those big giant rats. It's just, it is a Why giant rat. Why can't I remember the name of them? Rodents of unusual size. There you go. Uh, US's. Yeah. I think it's just one of those. Yeah. <laughs> they just reuse the effect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google it. This actually it is. is the Princess Bride right here. This is just story <laughs> as a child. Oh no, it's gone. He left his gun out. I kind of had enough courage. How maybe this is the themselves? first Dread Pirate Roberts. We don't know. Oh, that's possible. There is stop motion work by Industrial Light and Magic. Nice. Worked on this. Um, which is great because I, you know, uh, it's 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 really neat to to have that around um warwick davis and eric walker guys who worked on this film uh, have said they're happy to record a commentary for the dvd release of this film but, but never have um really i'm sad that i don't I'm, I'm sad that i don't know eric walker i'm sad that i don't know warwick davis if anyone out there knows warwick davis or eric walker eric walker is the actor who played mace warwick davis played wicket um I, i'd absolutely love to have them uh, you know if you're ever in like cleveland area um, join us on commentary. Join time. us on commentary time. We would definitely do. We will re-record this shit right then. And Absolutely. There. Oh yeah. We take them on a tour. We show them. We'll do where a press LeBron tour. Lives. We'll show them where LeBron lives. We'll knock on LeBron's house and just see oh, if he's yeah. home and just he'd be like, "Hey, LeBron James, Warwick Davis." LeBron I, will be like, uh, "I'm sure he's a big Star Wars fan, especially <laughs> he might be Ewok movies. That's a puppet." <laughs> no. What are you trying to say? I love. Look at those effects, though. I love them. They're like, fantastic. Like you know, stop motion is not like. 
I'm sure like younger people would watch stop motion and probably not be that impressed by it anymore. But I'm st- I still love stop motion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a nostalgia goggles thing. But oh, God, that it. thing is Look. fucking oh, gross. God. But it, like it's fantastic gross. Oh yeah, I mean it's like a dog anus. It's just sort of like, <laughs> what is this thing? The close up stuff is actually a lot cooler than the far away stuff because that's really choppy. Like, yeah, you can tell his motions are all choppy, but when you're just seeing like his gums, like right there, yeah. just snarling, He's all slimy. Yeah. Ooh. The Ewoks are oh. good at killing. They are killing they are? machines. Oh, okay. They took the Empire down, so. Oh, well, right. killing teddy bears. And killing Aww. teddy bears. Homicidal teddy bears. Aww. That's what everybody loves about them. Mangy fur and their, and their blow darts. They're going to eat this tonight. Darts, right. They're going to kill it and eat it. Well, I guess it's better than the children. Would it taste good? It can't. No, that's going to taste yeah. really gamey. Yeah. <laughs> that is not going to taste good. Um, yeah. Aww. I don't think so. They're so cute after they kill. Oh, oh, and it's kind of it's, it's still ter- oh god. Why is it steaming? That is terrifying. Okay. Look, it cautiously approaches. He pulls his hat off to reveal his dick. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Wicket's a girl. I don't know. I, it's possible. We don't really know. They do don't. I. Uh, I don't know. They appear. There's probably gonna be now because we said that there's gonna be a dozen articles about how it doesn't matter. I mean, they appear gender genderless. Is. Right? Because there's a whole debate about BB-8 and whether BB-8 is a boy or a girl. It's a robot. And I'm like, it's a robot. doesn't matter. <laughs> and we, this is it doesn't need to have a gender. Yeah, we don't need to talk C-3PO about gender. C-3PO so has a gender, but like R2-D2 doesn't. We just sort of assume male gender because there's a male actor inside of it. Um, but Oh, no. It's Danny, Daddy's that's Fitbit. That's Daddy's life model. It helps him lose weight because he's fat. He's oh my God. Well, she's so matter of fact about stuff, she yeah. might actually say that. What is this? Like, it's an effect. Kush? Kush? Kush, please. <laughs> Not a backdrop. E- e- <laughs> Set Vader oh. has worked on that one. <laughs> Master of the Beast? Oh, there's that ferret again. Hey, ferret. Chitter ferret me. is the heart of this picture. So are those chickens. <gasps> Look. Aww. And now they're eating it. Life monitor still works. So at least we know Dad's still alive, except he's not wearing it. How does it know? Yeah, this Fitbit is amazing. That's very, the greatest Fitbit. It's very I wish I could have a Fitbit that I just like didn't have to wear. Like <laughs> all the, I home. just I just left it at home and it still monitored my steps magically. I tied it to giant beasts and it still knew where I like how I was doing. It's great. That's great. Do do they have like chip implants? Is that how that works? I don't know if I want a chip implant to just to leave my Fitbit at home. No. As soon as that's going to happen, then there's going to be death panels Push. and all sorts death. of stuff. <laughs> death panels. <laughs> Getting political. Sorry. I just, I just don't want my chip to automatically be connected to my Facebook account, and suddenly it's just like posting oh. everything I'm doing. It's checking me in places. It's it's posting t- like how every... little I walked that day. Yeah, I don't want every that. time you go to the bathroom, it posts. Yeah, once again, um, you know, this we recorded this in 2015, and um, this was the Democratic United States of America at the time. Sort of. So, kind of. So, you know, if you if you live in like the totalitarian, totalitarian like you know Trump yes, dictatorship, oh. um, and where everybody's you know saying whatever. Uh, well, then so I'm sure this has already been deleted. This has probably so. been deleted. Oh, wow. It's really I really hope that's not the case by the time you guys listen to this. But if it is, you know, I'm sorry. Look, the Ewoks it was, it was a nice world culture. where everyone had oh, a show. Wow. Like, like the lady on Mad, in Mad Max Fury, Fury Road says, back then everyone had a show. See? <laughs> that's, that's right now and us. What, what's happening right now? That is a, that's a dreidel. Um, the Ewoks are Jewish. Oh, so, Okay. And they it's are Hanukkah. Hanukkah. It's no, Hanukkah no, and... no. 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 It is a dreidel. That's a dreidel. Oh my god. That's a dreidel, and they are Jewish, and this He's is Hanukkah. He's a mystic that's helping them find their parents. It's a dreidel. He's clearly. a mystic who's clearly celebrating Hanukkah, though. They're gonna have some matzo ball soup. Gonna They're gonna great. share their that's gift their today. That's their menorah. <laughs> it's their menorah, and this dreidel's amazing. Ooh, my fingers. They Those have Ninja toes. Turtle fingers. Those are toes. Wow. Oh, and the dreidel is made out of aluminum foil. So, that's good. Well, you know. Aww, the owl is key. 
is so mystical. Wow, she looks so unimpressed. <laughs> she was just sort of like, you know, whatever. This is lame. My parents are dead. Yeah, to be fair. Can she we just move on? Sad. My parents are She's dead. She's not impressed with anything. What is that? I don't know. What is it? I'm sad this isn't um Whoa. this isn't one that's like on Blu-ray. I'd love to see uh, Blu-ray oh, of this. Oh, mommy and Daddy. Nice facial hair. Though it does look pretty good on DVD. Yeah, it's not um, bad. It's not too bad. I remember when I was a when I was young. I remember thinking that this costume was just terrible. Like it's just not <laughs> an, a good costume. It's terrible. No. If we don't help them, they're gonna die. Well, you are. I and I'm sad. okay yeah, with she that. She thought that they, they were already dead. This should be moaning. Oh. The mystic, I believe, also appears in Return of the Jedi. Oh, she's so sad. Then put glycerin. <laughs> she's just cheese. constantly in a state of stickiness. <laughs> Well, aren't most kids? I mean, that's true. Those tears were. Just it's sometimes like I face. see a kid and they just have like cotton candy face, and I'm like, you didn't even have cotton candy. I don't understand. No, I visited um, <laughs> Damien, my my cousin's son today. He's four, and he he was trying to like tickle me, and it wasn't effective because his fingers were all sticky. Oh, God. I'm like, oh, God. well, um. I, no, that's not working. Um, they're always sticky, and there's stuff coming out of their noses all the time. We, it's just like we, this girl. We discovered the source like... was orange juice, which was a giant relief. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> this is just like, what? what? Where did this liquid come from? They all have jam hands. <laughs> Oh, I hate when like kids. I hate when kids hand me stuff because you're just like, oh, thank you. Oh God, that's so gross. It's like, why is? Oh God, you just hand me the remote, but it feels like it was in an asshole. What happened to it? Yeah. (laughs) And when they hand you food that they've been holding, oh, they expect you to eat it. Oh God. For folks out there in internet land, check out Master of None on Netflix. It's actually a really (laughs) great bit in the very first episode where like they hand him like a Aziz Ansari a sandwich, and he's just sort of like. No, nah, that looks gross. It's like maybe <laughs> peanut butter and ketchup or something. <laughs> it's, it's lettuce, peanut butter, and ketchup. Well, I mean, I made a sandwich like that for my mom. I remember making that kind of sandwich. It's vegan. It's vegan. <laughs> At least it's vegan. <laughs> oh, you can't. They can't all be winners. What the hell's going on? This, I don't know. This is a uh, <laughs> this movie drags. It's one of the only. Um, I think the the second movie has a better pace, but is a little goofier. Um, but I mean, we'll be we're reviewing gonna... that one too. Mm-hmm. We will be if reviewing. We're gonna it. be going on this caravan tour. They better go. Oh, is this a baby? Ew. Oh. I used to like it's the Ewok babies, but now they're they, when you look at them now as an adult, I'm like, oh god, that's oh, god. that is terrifying. If that lived with me, I would kill it with fire. Look, it's all sticky, too. There's, like, shiny above his lips. I think it's, you know, in the 80s, you know, when effects were were right in their, their sort of maybe juvenile stage, I'd yeah, say. Yeah, coming of, it was right before their coming of age. Yeah, like, makeup effects are, you know, have just continued to get better and better. And now they're, we're in kind of like a makeup and CG sort of uh, renaissance, so to speak. But, like, back then, I mean... The answer to anything looking fake was, I mean, like, legitimately, like, the guys who worked on Alien used to say, anything that looks fake, just put KY Jelly on it, it'll look yeah. fun. I was going to say Vaseline, but that works um, too, yeah. They would, they would lube up, because the, the Alien Ooh. looks like, if you've ever seen, like, the Alien movie, if you've ever seen the Alien without the lubricant on it, it just looks like a rubber suit. Uh-huh. It doesn't look real at all. And then they just, they literally take buckets of KY and just cover it in, like, basically petroleum jelly or or some sort of gelatin and that is what makes it look so alive that, that's why they sell 50 gallon drums yeah okay. so like throughout <laughs> so throughout like the <laughs> I 80s have always wondered about pretty that. much any movie that you see throughout the 80s like in order to make it look real it, they goop it up so that's why like it literally looks like every single ewok is running a mild fever <laughs> i mean nothing i i have encountered is usually that goopy except for children yes yeah children children and are slugs. definitely goopy um and anything that comes out of the ocean yeah yeah fish fish are goopy yeah. naturally but i mean that's okay i'm all right with that cucumbers mm-hmm. um yeah. any of those things anemones i'm just gonna go about on about sea life we're that's just gonna cool. start talking about it. yeah that's fine um seaweed is always like <laughs> slimy <laughs> people are like get stuck i'm listening because i want you to They're talk about you <laughs> 
gosh. We want you to talk about Ewoks, please. You're being so disrespectful <laughs> to their culture right now. I'm sorry, I'm very concerned about Ewoks. Offense, Sealy. you've triggered me. She's got, like, snow boots on. I think I had those boots when I was Ew. a kid. Oh, we're going to put the most 80s band on her imaginable. White wings of This course. is where, I mean, wow. legitimately, this is kind of a ripoff of, of uh, Fellowship of the Ring. Because they each get, like, something to take on their journey. With, like, a like in Fellowship. Stick. Yeah, they all they each get, like, something unique uh, to them that they uh, use. Blue wings of strength. Um, it's a jello. Sindel, the candle of pure life. She, she, get, she, she got, got a pile of jello. Oh, oh. You don't get that one. You get the rock. <laughs> You get a rock, oh, asshole. Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't want a rock. Chug, Chug, this Chug. sucks. It sucks. I had such a better life. The Empire My sister so got a awesome. candle made out of jello. I was going to join the Empire. And I was going to kill stupid rebels. I had a gun. Gods. Like, is it, is it like a George family. It's like a George Lucas like cliche <laughs> to have all the men, young men, just be whiny assholes yeah. like in every movie? He walkies. Um... I sure hope that one has some pot for that. Cat We're going to need a lot of cush for this journey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Aubrey Miller played Sindel. She is now 36 years old. Uh, according to Trivia, she attended college in 2002. Thanks, Trivia. That's great. <laughs> That's very exciting. <laughs> She appeared in Congrats. this movie and the Battle for Endor, the sequel. According to, this to movie. trivia, she wow. attended college at the normal age in which people attend college. <laughs> <laughs> like, thanks, thanks, Internet. I hope she has a Fitbit. <laughs> somebody, somebody posted on on January eleventh, two thousand fifteen. Please return as Sindel in episode seven. <laughs> and then somebody agreed. Indeed, it would. He just threw the rock away. Oh no! Oh, thank God, someone picked it up. Yeah, bash him in the head with it. I would. My niece loves rocks. She'd hold on to that thing. Did she you know? Maybe your niece should have gone in the That's what I'm saying. Instead. She yeah. would have been much better to have in this caravan mm -hmm. of courage. Fun fact. She's two. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Mm -hmm. He's not in this. What? I thought that was him. <laughs> I've been bringing up Dwayne the Rock Johnson on pretty much like everything we do now. I'm out. Watch, watch the table slab. No, I did Peep. the table slap on purpose to emphasize that I don't want to watch this anymore. Okay, fine. Dwayne the Rock Johnson is Gorzak. That's oh, I believe the name wait, of the. Oh, what are they All going right, cool. into? They're going into the asshole of this creature. <laughs> That's kind of what I thought. I'm confused. This is like that scene in Ace Ventura when nature calls, <laughs> when like Ace Ventura is inside the rhino and then like birds himself in front no, of him. <laughs> no, no. God, I love that scene. No. It's so gross because it's like, because oh. it's just it's just sort of gross. Birds for kitties. God, I wish we wouldn't have gotten so drunk before we recorded this commentary because this movie makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Everything is spinning. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> we didn't get drunk at all, really. We, just took, we took a shot. We Everything all had some is wine. shiny and chrome. <laughs> True. No, there's you're, you're mixed, shiny you're, or chrome. You're you're mixed, I want to go. I want to go as like a shiny chrome Ewok, like mash. <laughs> Mad, it's like Mad Max Ewok Road. Oh my Have god. like silver sprayed all over your Ewok mouth. <laughs> oh my god, can we do this? With like tattoos, like oh my, like my fur is all shaved away, and then like I've got like all these tattoos. You guys are giving me cosplay ideas. <laughs> She's having cosplay feels over there. <laughs> I could do this. I love I love mashing costumes together. They're great. It's a great idea. I'm all for it. This I horse it is like time. I hate this thing on my back. I can barely walk. <laughs> this horse looks completely confused. Also, why do I? How did I evolve on the forest mood of Andor? Where do these horses graze? They're in a <laughs> forest. <laughs> like this is not the proper There's environment. There's some hay on the ground. No, probably because it rained the day before and it's they. It's forest crap. crap. It's forest crap. What are they eating there? And these horse, they eat people. Oh well, then that makes yeah, sense. they're they're Ewok or Andor horses rather, not Ewok horses. Don't walk too far. You're gonna run into the matte painting. You better stop right about now. It's really convenient. That there's a nice clear path for them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's a path to the evil Gorzak or whatever his right. name is. It's fantastic. Where the parents are or something. So, Katie. Yeah. Before watching this film, you expressed that you were considering uh, an Ewok-themed cosplay, and you were you were unsure whether this film would. Uh, or persuade Gorax, you or dissuade name. you from doing so. What What are your thoughts now at um, this stage? I'm currently undecided. 
Okay. okay. I don't All know right. if they can be as expressionless mm-hmm. as the Ewoks. Mm-hmm. You know, accuracy. Oh. Well, you can do the George Lucas additional blink because oh, the they blink now. You can go with, I kind of want to go with Sindel. I mean, this is kind of a Sindel would be actually be kind of a fun cosplay. She's got I kind of want to be this Ewok with the the stick thing on his chest. I want to go because I'm six foot five and like two hundred and ninety pounds. <laughs> I want to go as an Ewok. I want to go as it. like the weird Ewok that's way too tall. <laughs> Like almost Chewbacca height and and just you know that's who I am. I'm I'm, my name is Walkit the Wonkit the the yes. creepy tall Ewok. And everybody says Happy Life Day, and you're like, I'm, like, I'm, I'm not, not an not, Ewok. I'm not, I'm not, not a Wookiee. I'm, I'm an Ewok. We don't we celebrate do, that. We do celebrate Life Day, but like the Jewish version. Because the because <laughs> of the dreidel. Come on. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what Hanukkah? like uh, yeah. <laughs> Iwanaka, Iwakana. For anybody who's Jewish who's listening, I'm sorry if we're offending oh you. We're really gosh, trying not to is... offend. But I love the idea we're that... We're embarrassed for ourselves. I love the yeah, idea, though, that, that Ewoks are <laughs> a I member mean, of God's dreidel. chosen people. <laughs> they did have a dreidel. I'm sorry, that was a dreidel. They did have a dreidel. What? And then, what? What? That was some <laughs> science right there. He made. He just threw this weird hatchet that looked like it was made of a floppy disk. Yeah, that's, what, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> it was a floppy disk really, and a stick. I really like the idea. It's, it seems like so. Oh, it seems so like burn, wonderfully Ewok. nerdy to make like to make like a weapon out of a computer. <laughs> like it just seems like if there's some kind of Armageddon, like IT people are gonna tear apart those computers and make like weapons out of them. <laughs> And attack us with, like, you know, motherboard hatchets, which would hurt like a motherfucker. It would. Because you got all the you got all the, the uh, soldering on there that's really sharp and prickly. And so and the ivory tooth is returned. I actually, I have a, uh, on my keys, I have a, uh, uh, a um, memory chip are, are that not... I use as a box cutter. Oh, fair enough. It's very effective. <laughs> it is the best box cutter. Are, are we not, like... Is this kid like cool now? Yeah, it seems like, like they just had a bonding yeah, moment. Yeah, this is over similar to uh, like Clash of the Titans style. You know, he's got to prove he's himself. They're like, oh, why is he walking yeah. like he just got man child? <laughs> why is he walking like there's a poop in his butt right That's now? What I was he's got like, a fucking turtle head in his. <laughs> he's like, hold it in. They're gonna cut. They're gonna yell cut soon, and I can run to the bathroom. I really gotta go. Oh my god, I have to shit like a motherfucker. So weird looking an Ewok on a horse. Ewok on little Sebastian. It's not right. It's very Planet of the Apes. <laughs> they all have names. I want to do a Planet of the Apes Ewok hybrid. Oh god. Where it's like an ape face but like an Ewok body. <laughs> no. No. And still the head covering though. It's still the head covering to hide the dick. No, if I make an Ewok costume, I'm totally putting a dick behind that. And being like, this is where the Ewoks dick, their, all their genitalia is covered. Because it's the only thing that's covered on them. It's the only thing that makes sense. I I'm hope not, this is canon after this I'm podcast. not going to this con with you. Whatever con you're doing with that. <laughs> Every I'm con. Home. I'm Every just going to be con. like, I'm going to walk. Everybody's going to have a fit picture with you. And I'll be like, yeah, um, when you're done with that picture, I want you to look behind my hood. And you're going to be like, God, you're a pervert. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's sexual harassment. I'm pretty sure it is, too. So I'm not going to do it. But I like the idea that. Oh. I really like the idea that that's why they wear the hats because their genitalia is on their head. That's canon now. It's Star canon. Wars Episode Seven for Force Awakens. Gotta have to make that canon. J.J. Abrams, if you're uh, listening, and I'm pretty sure you are, um, oh. do make it so. What? See what I did there? I mashed genres. I had Star Trek, a Star Trek reference. Make it so. On top of my J.J. Abrams that's reference. That's very good. That yeah. was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, that's, that was flawless. I'm, I'm impressed. What else can you mix into that? It must out. pass a magic oh, test. Know. Magic test. I have magic test anxiety. I didn't There's... even study. <laughs> magic <Shit>. test. <laughs> this is that like dream that you have. You go into class and there's a, a big magic test and you haven't studied for oh, it. Oh man. I don't even have a wand. <sighs> I left my wand. Home. Oh man. In the Harry Potter world, are there magic? <laughs> are there like pop quiz magic tests? Well, yeah. Oh, man. Harry we'll get Potter. to the Harry Potter. We'll do some Harry Potter commentaries. Oh, no. oh my God! Oh, oh no! Lizard. That's a bearded dragon. What the? No! Those are the reptilians. Okay, I now is so that what about. we wanted to happen or not? Turned into I'm a not, lizard. I'm not sure. Was that the magic test? Did it pass or not? <laughs> this movie is ridiculous. 
I love it though. See, that it's one kinda... has an erect dick I, under the I really He's love shaking that. Shaking his head. Oh, oh. I really love that. Like, like it's it, it does magic. have a, a sort of yeah, what? Oh, and then look at that little guy. He's cute. Please help us turn to mommy and daddy. See a magic. I saw the dead. Dead. Nice. It's like Kink. no. This guy's name is Kink. He is the Gandalf of the group. That's true. Now they're they're definitely like ripping off like pop popular fantasy stuff i mean oh, you, know, you have to think like this came horse shortly horse? after uh this or around the same year as never ending story and actually has kind of a similar vibe yeah i really wish that this you know this was something that 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 fans and um and something that disney would would actually like re-release again i'd love Hold to on. see it available like in, in digital are, are the ewoks now full-sized normal human beings on those horses and those horses are normal size because that something was off there yeah. something was a little off there my guess is it's it's uh, my guess is that they had trained people on horses maybe riding the horses and they had to shoot it from a low angle to make the perspective work and sometimes the patches <sighs> didn't work it's weird this kid kind of looks like steven dorf actually yeah whoa um, his reflection was from still the there. gate yeah his reflection was still there what the I don't understand. He just, this is, again, Lord of the Rings. Is this part of the magic this is, this is the two towers when Frodo gets stuck under the water with there the spirits. Yeah. This is that scene. This, that, there you go. Hey, I'm help, being help. killed by something that doesn't help. make sense. Um, one of the biggest uh, issues that, that actually people have with this movie is obviously not the continuity, but the fact that there is magic in this world. Oh. Um because the magic magic is like different than like the force is more of a supernatural thing it's not magic it's it's a kind of magic maybe but but it's more a driving force of nature in the whole galaxy it Mm -hmm. chooses people to to sort of um channel its abilities whereas this is straight up like they they literally call it magic several times throughout the movie and and there's no reference to it being uh, the force or anything like that. I don't know whether that was for a continuity sake or what, what was the deal with that? I like how you can see like that. It's not very shallow or yeah. that, or that it not is shallow deep. rather, not yeah. very deep. Um, yeah. The stick, the stick, the plane, the plane. Yeah. Use okay, the magic stick. Drowned. It's literally called. He ma- is drowned. Yeah. At this yeah, point, no, he's, he's probably, dead. He's dead. They're going to pull out a dead body. Oh, he's dead. don't worry. It's a magic stick. They got it. Run out of the oh, pool. You made it. Stick. That's good because you're only in like one foot of water anyway. <laughs> the first oh, shower this God. kid's taken in weeks. Oh my God. For the next couple hours, he's going to have to walk around wet. That's the worst. That's the worst when it rains enough to soak your entire <laughs> outfit. At least it and won't then, be like, sticky anymore. Well, yeah, I, went, I mean, it washed off all the sticky. You won't have damn hands. I, I went to a football game when I was in, in high school. And it rained like the entire time I was there, and like I, I was like doing like uh, I was doing like uh, sideline like like tracking yardage and stuff like that, and I was out in the rain the entire time. My pants from that day are still wet. <laughs> That's how fucking wet I got, and not in a dirty way, but in a legitimately like I was soaked. My dad was there too, and we both to this day were like that was the most miserable we have ever been in our entire lives. <laughs> Outside of watching this film, I mean, I'm no. just miserable at <laughs> like football games. So. Yeah, it was just outside of it being a you know football. I mean, I don't mind football, but that was high sometimes school. I thought would, I had to like football. I loved being in marching band in high school, where they would pause the game because it was too rainy, and they would have the <laughs> band go on play. Yeah, mm-hmm. with our like seven hundred dollar like- instruments marching around in a fucking torrential downpour. Is this like the nerd like tangent that we're going on? This is the nerd tangent we're going on right now. (laughs) Band camp. Let's talk about band. Sports ball and band camp. We've been to band camp, Dana and I. I have not been to band camp. I went to like choir camp, but. What? That's even worse. No, it was just at Six Flags. What? We went to like Six Flags and rode a bunch of roller coasters and then sang a bunch of songs and and got a patch. Okay, I did that once. Yeah. We did that at. In Disney. That yeah, was fun. we learned how to play like a whole new world or some <laughs> crap like that. <laughs> Educational. <laughs> I love this little I love this little Disney girl, Sindel here. She's just like she's just along for the ride. She's just having a good time. She's having a great time. Her brother is having he's fucking miserable. Like the whole movie he's like miserable. He is kind of an asshole. 
Well, and like, <laughs> I mean, he did just like fall into a mystical lake and almost die. Yeah, but up to then, he's not been pleasant. Oh, well, I understand, but I can also see why, like, like at this point, she's still like, yeah, even though, like, her brother almost died. <laughs> well, she's already assumed her parents were dead. If he, if she assumed he was dead, that'd be all right, too. Well, yeah, that's another thing, too. She's still, like, happy-go-lucky, even though she's like, yeah, parents are dead. And there's his floppy disk catch again. <laughs> catch it. Sorry. I want to see uh, an Ewok movie directed by Tommy Wiseau. I think he would oh. really nail the aesthetic. I don't think he... <laughs> they all live, like, in an apartment, and they just, like, talk about their problems. An apartment with a, a floor plan that makes no sense. <laughs> that, that does not... He would insist on playing the, like, young brother. <laughs> no, I am... Oh, I am 11 no. years old. <laughs> I am wow, an 11-year-old boy. Ha, ha, ha. We're going to go on an adventure. Ha, ha. I just wanted to see. For folks out there who don't know Tommy Wiseau is, <laughs> just, just learn Google that it. shit. Google Are we it. not going to do commentary for that? Oh, point? absolutely. We're going to do okay. a commentary for The Room. It's coming up. That has to be a group commentary. That's going to be a group commentary. Whew. There, there won't be anyone who won't want to be on that. No, I love that movie. I don't I feel it's safe to it. have that candle in there. I don't or, feel very safe to be have her legs her right next to the token. fire. Huh. This sure is a good candle. What? It smells. <laughs> That. It never burns down, and it smells like feet. It's I a, love the smell a, of feet. It's from Yankee Candle. It's great. It's no, from that Yan- stuff burns really fast. Yeah, it does. Shh, don't tell them. Don't, don't tell Yankee sorry. Candle that when we bought our Walgreens candle. <laughs> Unless, of course, and they it want- got a Yankee Candle on the same day, and the Yankee <laughs> Candle was gone in like a week, and we still have the Walgreens candle. Unless, of course, Yankee Candle would like to sponsor Commentary Time, in which case, Yankee Candle, the We're, candle. Hey, yeah. Yankee Candles smell great. They just don't last very long. <laughs> Oh, whoa. they they Take do it a... <laughs> aren't there don't they have these in like willow as well aren't there like a kind of glowing like fairies or something like that in willow i can't remember i haven't seen willow in years we should do come on that too did you see that no bitch i'm asleep what's the fucking fairy thing? trying to sleep having like the worst day ever like almost drowned and i've been walking around in soggy clothes for like five hours Dude, now. i had to poop real bad i know, poop like really bad and everybody was just like no we gotta keep walking just eat your shit like we do and i have a perma wedgie from this jumpsuit <laughs> Ew, yeah you really did <laughs> <laughs> no i like the idea I, for all you out there who don't know rabbits um have to eat their poop once a day um it's called sequels and they have to eat them they come out of their butt they normally, they have regular, you know, you probably have seen rabbit poop. If you have rabbits or have seen rabbits, you know what rabbit poop looks like. That's not the poop they eat. They actually eat the sort of very, a little more poop looking poop. And they actually have to eat it once a day in order for their digestion to work. I would like to think the Ewoks have to do the same thing. Why? There's like one part of the day where they all have to stop and sit down. You know, it's Aww. like, it's like, it's like, you know, Mary and Pip. It's like second breakfast is, is the poop, t- poop eating hour. Oh I would like to add that my brother's dog. I'm vetoing this train of thought. (laughs) He also has to. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I can only presume he has to eat eat rabbit poop once a day. This does seem a lot like Willow. What is going on? Wisties. Oh, Oh, they they smoke some Kush, and so now they're having (laughs) Kush. That would make sense. Wisties, Wisties. This is neat. I, I think the imagination in this story outweighs any flaws it might have because I actually think it's pretty it's pretty good if you have kids, and you want to ch- like seriously check this out because it's actually pretty fun. Yeah, it's I a could, good. Kids I could movie. see this being really good for kids if like their parents were into Star Wars, and then this came out. I could. This would be really good to like. It. This would be a good introduction for a lot of kids. Oh yeah. Like if you're you know this is this was clearly kind of made more for you know the three to the three to seven demographic i'd say like you know and then after about seven eight you can kind of start watching star wars and understanding it um my friend scott mendelson scott mendelson of forbes.com uh his his daughter i remember when he showed his daughter i think he was like five or six when he showed her the star wars movies he said we didn't even get 10 minutes in before she had like a hundred questions about the (laughs) universe he's like i never knew star wars was so complicated until my daughter just starts asking questions she's like who's that guy that's darth vader who is he a good guy or a bad guy he's a bad guy why is he a bad guy well uh and then he has to go and explain it and then she's like well why would he do that what was his motivation and like she's just like because his daughter's really intelligent she asks a lot of like really good questions so she's just like 
he said it took me like an hour just to watch the first 10 minutes of the movie. <laughs> she had so many questions. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh, this is not. That's clearly melting down as well. Candle. Yeah, this is a terrible idea. But don't, also, don't that this. candle is clearly melting down. Well, yeah. So maybe it is a Yankee candle. No offense to Yankee. I don't know. Maybe offense. Who knows? Ooh. Maybe they're like, fuck you. Okay. All right. They're really still doing a thing. I don't know. They're no, still now they're forming a thing. Oh. Forming a thing. Is it going to, they're going to turn into like they some. They went into like, a fairy tornado and then went into and the candle. And they're in the candle and they're dead. Weechie. Oh. Okay. What the shit was that? I have no idea. Steve. <laughs> That was an acid trip right there. Like, what the fuck was that scene? Oh, no. Oh, oh no. There's like a dead one. Oh. Oh, oh that's super adorable. That's amazing. That's actually a really cool effect. I'm going to cosplay that. You could probably do that. I it think would require could... a lot of light. You could do that by sticking a fork into an outlet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they caught they caught the, the, electric, the electric gremlin from Gremlins 2, the new batch. <laughs> Or Tinkerbell. That's basically just Tinkerbell. They're ripping off Disney. She's dancing. I think she's injured. Uh, this feels like one of the she's like, lost her family one like of the I detours have. on like the holiday special where they're just like looking at something that looks cool and it starts dancing and oh, there's yeah. nothing going yeah. on in the plot. Wicket's uh. Wicket's dead eyes stare longingly at the weird <laughs> thing. Um, for folks out there who don't know, in the sequel to this, the Ewoks actually speak, which is weirder than when they don't <laughs> speak. <laughs> like they speak English. Do their eyes blink? Um, no. Oh, okay. They're uh, the yeah. This the sequel to this. This one like does work within the Star Wars canon in that you can assume this took place before the Empire kind of showed up and was and was using this moon as the shield base for the Death Star. Um, however, the sequel, they, the sequel is, you know, maybe a year later and they, they all speak English. And so it's like, how did they unlearn English from Empire to Return of the Jedi? Particularly since Wicket is the star of, of Return of the Jedi and right. the two Ewok movies. Yeah. Um, that, and that's why people get weird about canon with it. And I mean, I'm, I can be like, I, I like loose continuity um, because it affords like for as, as somebody who's like writes and creates a lot. I like the ability to have the the um, artistic freedom to to sort of futz with canon a little bit. But I'm also at the same time a continuity like hound. I, like I want things to have continuity. So like I, I can understand why people would be really like that's why this has always had a bit of a debate about whether it's canon because it does not totally like work. Did he have her or it in his uh, pocket? Because that's weird. This is feeling a little uncomfortable. That's his now. girlfriend now. Yeah, that's, that's his what girlfriend. I'm she he loves her. He's mm. gonna feed her what looks like a crystal. Okay. So here's a thought. <laughs> You mentioned the Ewoks blinking, and it made me think about the CG alterations mm -hmm. to uh, mm -hmm. yeah. the the original films. Mm -hmm. And I'm mm -hmm. wondering mm -hmm. what, what you guys think if people did care about these films and Lucas did revisit them. Um, what kind of CG monstrosities would be added well, to this? Well, luckily, <laughs> he can't. Right. Well, yeah, yeah, I don't. So. I think he's done. <laughs> I think he's done making tweaks maybe he may still have i wonder i would love to see the contract for him between disney because i'm curious what <laughs> what all is included in that like is it is, is it does disney own the ewok film does disney own the ewok film there is it still a fox property um yeah what what exactly is entailed in God, what is happening right now this, i have no idea this thing is just messing around and i think this little fairy is on meth or something i think this is Maybe. what they call she's a adding. giggle eater oh, oh that's so giggle eater. inexplicably strange what and i like it that mean? and weird it's, it means we needed something to pad out this film <laughs> giggle eater sounds like a mid-90s horror film <laughs> like wes craven's the Giggle Eater. Or it sounds like one of those scary story books, one of those short stories. Yeah. yeah. Something by R.L. Stein. Yeah. yeah. R.L. Stein's The Giggle Eater. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's horrifying. 
fine. Oh, no. Um, if I were to, if I, I were to add, if I were to add CG to this, I'm trying to think of what what all could. I mean, I, I the blinking I actually don't think is that bad. Um, the blinking makes them less dead eyed. Yeah. Um. So the blinking, I, I'd probably add blinking. Um. I wouldn't fix the matte paintings because I just I, I think you're just offending people who worked really hard on matte paintings um, by doing that. Uh, I think if you're going to add CG to stuff, it should be stuff that isn't there before. You should not be cop like like pasting over something that just seems really offensive to artists. Um, I, I would probably change the live action animals that are in the movie, like the ferret. I might mod the ferret digitally yeah. to make it look a little less ferret like maybe mm -hmm. just maybe just mod its color yeah. so that it's like purple yeah uh or hmm. maybe okay. it's maybe it's red okay. like a red ferret kind of thing and you know maybe maybe add some texture on its fur like uh maybe it has maybe on its back it has like a scaly back i would like delete some of the fur and put in like texture um just just something to to make it feel like it's from a foreign planet and not from a petting zoo because yeah. <laughs> like that right now that's basically like they went and raided a petting zoo and then and then brought all these animals in and you know we're having a good time with them so uh i i would probably in certain set pieces that weren't matte paintings add add stuff add features and qualities that would maybe blend it a little better um and even with the matte paintings, I might blend the lines between yeah, the yeah, paintings that's... so that they work a little better. Um, to, you know, if you're going to do something, you want to you want to accentuate the positive qualities of the film that's there. And so, like, you know, if you're going to add C, and that's a problem. That's why people hate the George Lucas special editions because oh, that oh I god, that like Ewok is a bad touch, bad touch Ewok. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, for you who are listening to this podcast style, they just cut to the most terrifying shot of an Ewok I've ever seen. Oh, <laughs> oh God! Do I, oh. Is his name Lurdo? I don't even remember that Ewok coming with them. I don't know which one This is, is the Lurdo. first shot they've ever gotten of him. Oh, but I picked up your rock. I, I believe that, you know, the Ewok, like, or not the Ewoks, I believe that CG should, if you're going to add it, it should it should accentuate, not not really deter. And that's... One of the most offensive things about why people are offended by the, the George Lucas Star Wars uh, redos is, you know, deleting artists' work and putting in new new artists' work. Um, and, you know, I think there's a prime metaphor for that in the lady who, uh, what, do you, do you happen to know offhand, the, the, the famous Jesus uh, portrait uh, at the... at the Oh, Beast Jesus? Um, um, yeah, I can't remember. In which name. the old lady came in and, like, wiped the face off and redid it i mean it was it both didn't... the most fabulous thing and the most horrifying thing I've yeah ever seen. but i think that's that's a metaphor for what george lucas did yeah um and and that's not to say you know he's not a talented individual it's not to say he's not a genius it's just that his his ideas sometimes i think overstep the bounds of of uh what should remain you know what should remain constant uh you know i i i can't remember what steven spielberg said about it now and steven spielberg kind of kind of went he was pro cg and then he kind of became anti cg and he was just sort of like you know let's let sleeping dogs lie you mean like, after everyone made fun of the walkie talkies ruthlessly in et that <laughs> wasn't actually the turning point for him i believe it was when um they did some test footage for jaws uh with a cg shark and he was just like no we can't do this to be fair, if I were the George Lucas and I was adding stuff, I'd add a lot of lasers. <laughs> I can All absolutely, lasers, I can lasers. from from a creator standpoint, I can absolutely one hundred percent, completely understand the desire to want to change something after the event. Like, I you I obsessed with perfection. Yeah, and I remember reading a, uh, somebody who sat next to him at a screening of uh, Star Wars: A New Hope. And it was a print of the film that was untouched by George Lucas, um, untouched by the special edition effects. And it was really revealing because, the, you know, the person was like everybody was cheering and then they, they were literally like sitting right near George Lucas. And um, they said he's he's cringing throughout the whole movie. He's yeah. like he's literally like, you know, something comes up and he's just sort of like, Ooh. like so he painful. hates it so much, like he hates the way it looks now and. 
and you know that comes from a troubled production you know he it was a it was a cheap production it was a troubled production you know a new hope um it was you know re-edited by the studio and kind of taken away from him a little bit and i think ultimately it caused a little bit of like a psychological breakdown and a desire to fix what what in his mind was broken and i can completely understand that I mean, you know, I look back on, you know, uh, there's books and stories and stuff that I've published and I read them through and I'm like, oh, I would fix this. I'd fix that. I wish I could fix that. Um, but I think uh, y one of the lessons you have to learn as an artist is just, you know, you got to let it go. You got to walk away from it. This is, uh, we're watching the e Caravan of Courage Ewok film, in case you were. <laughs> Did you just jump again? <laughs> They're in a cave. They're in a cave. I believe it's the cave of Snorlax. Oh, um, myself and Michael and Alex have, have sort of developed. <laughs> we kind of started a thing where we were developing sex acts for pretty much all of the oh. the Star Wars oh, movies, no. including the Hoth Tickle, the the Sarlacc Pit, the uh, the Dirty <laughs> Rancor. This one could be the Red Wings of Courage. <laughs> That's perfect. The Red Wings occur. It's okay. You get a sex swing, right? You buy wings like the Victoria's Secret wings, and you wear those and only those, and you swing <laughs> towards someone whimsically while there are dancing lights all around you, and they swing into the penis. So the woman is on the swing, and she swings into your penis. The, the man enough. stands. The man stands there with a rock in his hand. Okay. Yeah. And a magic stick. <laughs> and a Fitbit on his other wrist. Yes. Okay. All right. There Same. we go. What are we calling that again? I've already forgotten the name of it. Uh, Tuesday night. No. <laughs> the, the Red Wings of what it was. The, the, the Red Wings of Courage. The Red the, Wings of Courage. Folks at home, if you want to. put on the Red Wings of Courage. If that there's, was my inspiration. If there, are, if there is any, you know, attractive uh, people out there who would like to, to do that and then send a photo. Why do I have to be attractive? Because um, I want to see <laughs> it. I'm attractive. Sex, <laughs> too. Huh? people like sex too no i'm just saying i for, for my own personal edification if you're attractive <laughs> uh geek it permanently geek you can send us pictures if you're unattractive you can send us pictures too but there's no guarantee i'm gonna like them <laughs> <laughs> and you know attraction is subjective so you know, whatever send them to me i promise we won't post them online I promise. maybe <laughs> that'll be on our next commentary actually <laughs> I like how they tried to mask that this was very clearly like one of those like jungle rope things that you see yeah. at like, you know, amusement parks and stuff. But... I feel like I'm watching the Goonies right now. The Goonies with these. It does Aww. have a Goonies. She's so sad. Oh, There's yeah. so many like memeable shots in this. Uh... Current mood. And then that <laughs> yeah, current mood. And then that. <laughs> current Aww. mood. It's just her snickering. Star crash. Star crash. Star Crash is my roller derby name, by the way. I'm just going to drop that. That's why I get so excited when I see it. And the movie is amazing. Well, and yes. we'll do a commentary Where for it Where I established the movie point. was amazing, and that's where the name came from originally. Mm -hmm. Christopher Plummer Academy Award, uh, uh, I believe, nominated. He might even have won the Academy Award nominated, at least. Actor Christopher Plummer appears in that, as well as David oh, Hasselhoff yeah. and this oh, fake spider we're looking at right this. now. That's a fake spider. Burn it, burn it. Again, we're Lord of the rings in this scene. That is a spider on a stick. That is not convincing. I don't. I'm convinced. <laughs> Fuck that noise. I'm out of here. I am burning I should, I down the cave. I should leave the commentary for the rest <laughs> of the film. There, I can there see is, like, the fishing line. Actually, funny. leave. You can. You literally can see it. That's funny. I like the KY. The uh, yeah. Fangs. There is a Mexican restaurant uh, near us, and every Halloween. <laughs> oh my God. Every Halloween, you know which one I'm talking I know. about. Every Halloween, uh, they have this spider that looks exactly like this. And they hang. <laughs> and it's really big, and it hangs, like, as soon as you walk in, it's, like, looming over you. I'm like, God, how do any children go here? God, you can really see the wires on that thing. That, they did not pull this effect off very well. No, the spider is not the Spiders best. are hard because there's a lot of mechanics in making a spider work. But you could have gone with another kind of creepy thing you could have gone for like a beetle and you would have had less yeah, movement beetle would have been okay they, maybe, sca they have scary fang things maybe film like an actual spider and then like blow superimpose it, up. it yeah oh that's he's just a little spider leave him alone oh Aww. how is he gonna how are they gonna get it back to you murderers Aww. yeah they're, <laughs> they're fucked now they're basically stuck here they're stuck in the snake the, the cave that's of all right Snorlax. they can do the whatever it is the red wings of justice or whatever Courage! <laughs> you can sit there and do that. 
<laughs> with their back dicks. <laughs> oh no. No, I think the the sex I think we should actually come up with one that's just called the caravan of courage. <laughs> That, I mean, that's Which is fair. just, a caravan of courage is just sounds like an alternative name for like a really long orgy. <laughs> yeah, basically. So that's it. The caravan of courage is you watch both Ewok films. It's like, back, motherfucker, I'm back. Spider's Aww. back. Yeah, you watch you watch both Ewok films while having like an orgy. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds really good. In disturbing. Ewok costumes. I'm going to be um, really entertained because um, Todd from our show Whatnot is supposed to be on the commentary for the second of these films. Um, and so long as that's what actually happens, it'll be entertaining um, for him to be thrown into the middle of all of these uh, references that yeah. will be made. Um, that'll be his first commentary with us. Oh, he hasn't excellent. done a commentary yet. Good and Katie, this was your first commentary. Yeah, it's my first. Are you enjoying yourself? You having yeah, a good time? Yeah, popping my uh, cherry of commentaries. <laughs> A little caravan of courage on you. The red it's wings a good of one. courage. I've earned my red wings of courage You've tonight. The red wings of courage. <laughs> if I would, if I would have remembered that, I would have like made little like things that we could have worn. Oh, that would be so cute. We could have each. We could have had blue wings and white wings and red wings. Oh my god! Could I have a magic stick? No. Oh. Make I don't, I don't one, trust okay? you with a magic stick, okay? I'm gonna get a magic stick. You can have the rock. Oh, oh, the rock? No, so, not like the rock, not like Wayne, not like Dwayne Johnson. Oh, like. <laughs> Is Wayne Johnson Wayne like Johnson. Dwayne's <laughs> like brother? Yeah. Brother, he like does Lucy have a scene version. Dwayne John, Dwayne the Rock Johnson actually does have a brother uh, who looks a lot like him and is usually oftentimes his stunt double in movies. Oh. Um, Look at that bone, man. So okay, wait, wait. How the hell tough is Dwayne's brother if that's his stunt double? Actually, the Dwayne the Rock Johnson, from what I understand, is the smallest one in the family. What? Oh, is it kind of like in How I Met Your Mother? Yeah. Where, like... <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm totally forgetting his name now. Um, I've totally forgotten Jason that Jason Segel's character is like the smallest <laughs> I totally one. I totally forgot. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, After that were, finale, I forgot there. that show. Yeah, so. yeah. Oh, sorry. How Rest I, in peace. Yeah. Um, I always want to, I just discovered this, um, that Tony Cox is in this. Uh, Tony Cox, uh, is the, the, um, actor from Bad Santa. Oh dear. Like that guy is in this. Um, oh, he plays, he plays Whittle. Oh, Whittle. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember which one is Whittle, but I remember <laughs> seeing Whittle on the screen. I like how they shot this kind of in slow motion to make it seem big and lumbering, but it just makes it look more like a sky in a suit. <laughs> <laughs> like it doesn't actually work. It looks like Rasputin from the Anastasia animated it does. movie. It does. Like combined with Bartok the Bat. Yeah. Ew. God, it's <laughs> so gross looking. Oh, no. Oh. Stupid Ewok! Oh, you fucking idiot! Well, it's a good, God, it's a good decoy. Bless it. Well, that's a beautiful wig. <laughs> he looks like he's being like some weird alien death metal band or something. Yeah, he, you know, just he like, looks like he like he looks like is a woman on the weekends. I mean, like like a drag like, queen, not like he's like the Keith else. Richard of like space aliens. You know, yeah. <laughs> like, I want him to have like a Johnny Depp style like <laughs> Captain Jack Sparrow. Like, yeah, listen, darling, it's just sort of a. I've had a bit of a thing, and I have these people here, and I'm gonna be eating them in a little bit. And wanna, it's quite nice. I want to imagine him with like that wasn't, a, that wasn't bad. Yeah. That wasn't a bad. terrible impression. This is not the best impression I've done of Johnny Depp as Captain Jack Sparrow, but it's not the best one. I think this guy should have like a studded black leather vest somewhere. <laughs> you know this alien goes to leather bars. Oh yeah. You know it. Oh yeah, for sure. You know it. You know he has done the Hoth tickle. You know <laughs> he has done the Sarlacc pit. That's his favorite. <laughs> Um, I just want to inform you all that according to Wikipedia, yes, uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, this film is the only appearance of the Red Wings of Courage. <laughs> uh, until, ladies and gentlemen, J.J. Abrams, Star Wars, <laughs> Episode 7, The Force Awakens. I guarantee, can't wait. I guarantee. Can't wait. I can't wait. I can point it out in another commentary. I really love the fact that they actually dropped the episode from the posters and stuff. Oh, it's just they? called The Force Awakens, well, which is great because... Uh, you know, for so many years, it just was just Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, and then all of a sudden we had to start referring this up to them as episodes. Um, though I still see a lot of people calling them Episode 7, but all the posters and stuff are not, they don't say that at all. 
They're going to go on a seesaw now. I don't know what they're doing. You but know. that's kind of been how this whole movie has been. I mean, it's, it would make a lot of sense if you're seven years old, probably. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah. Mace! I, when I was at, well, when I saw this one, I was like, I actually was probably too old to really enjoy this yeah, the first time I saw it. I thought it was a bit on the boring side. Um, I, I liked it when I watched it as an adult, though. I was really, like, kind of entranced with it. I thought it was kind of, I'm like, man, this is a great TV movie. Like, this has got high production values. It's fun. It, it has a lot of, like, cool, cute characters and, like, a lot of goofy weirdness happening. It's just, it, it's actually an extraordinarily uh, kind of epic little 80s TV movie. And I, I love that it, love that it's a little nook of the Star Wars universe. I wish this um, was you again. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you didn't notice, the giant alien monster thing also had a perma wedgie. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Lucy Steenburgen or Lauren Steenburgen. What do we call her? Lucy. Lucy Steenburgen. <laughs> it should be a more 80s name, though. Like, Like Anastasia Steenburgen? No, like Stephanie or Melissa. Like Stephanie. Yeah, yeah. Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie Steenburgen. I'm going to find out whether she's related I, it, she doesn't look that much like her. It's just like a glimpse of it. Her. Wait, is this her? I'm looking it up. Okay. So Mace hey. Tawani and then Sindel Tawani. So Katarin is her is her name in this. Yes. She is played by Fionula Flanagan. Oh, that's a beautiful name. Wow. She's, <laughs> really she's Irish. Time. She's from Dublin. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly. Yeah, She's 73 years sorry, old. Sorry, Fionnula. It sounds like marbles <laughs> are in your mouth when you have to say it. Um, <laughs> she's actually made several appearances on Star Trek. And she's in the Star Trek The Next Generation episode, Inheritance, in which she plays Data's mother. What? Yeah. Data's mother? Well, I'm going to guess, uh, what is his name? Data's sort of father figure, the guy who built him, I'm going to guess it's mm. his wife. Okay. I mean, between Data and Sindel, she's played some of the most important mothers in cinema history. Absolutely. Truth. No doubt. No doubt. I'm not really she sure how this rescue of the parents is, is in no way related to I, I Mary Steenburgen. Not that I not that I thought she would be. I really thought that the axe teeter-totter method was going to be a winner. But. Yeah, I did too. But then somehow this a basket came into it. Yeah. Oh, well, is, is that where the parents? Is that what the parents were in? No, they were in a, like a cage. I don't know what's happening. The basket. <laughs> I don't know. I apologize. The basket's a separate thing, but I don't know. Oh, there, there's the mom. Oh my God. Okay, something's happening. Was the basket just a distraction? I just. We missed something. Let's move on. No, we. The... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Gorax, Gorax! Yes. She also played oh. Eloise Hawking <gasps> on Lost. Oh no, oh, Lost. Oh, yeah, that's another disappointing. Thing. Yeah. Well, thank God we have. Let's just, how I let's just depress finale. the shit out. Yeah, how how I met your mother officially cemented <laughs> as the the worst finale I've ever seen of a TV show. So Lost. Most was mostly lost. just because it 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 completely misinterpreted the power and magnitude of its story by trivializing it with a relationship mm. that fans liked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It did. Aww. And and it, 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 I don't mind that he would end up with Robin. I just think that they should it could have been handled. Spoilers! <laughs> yeah. Spoilers! Uh. People are like, talk about the Ewoks. I don't give a shit about fucking I don't, Robin. you know what? I don't either. Red Wings of Courage, there they are. The Red Wings oh, of Courage. Oh no, this is where you destroyed the... Oh, uh, if you guys thing. just would have talked with that spider, maybe you could have been. Now, now oh, Mary Steenburgen's cousin is going to die. The parents oh. are like, "You killed our spider friend." They oh, say, no. "Oh God!" They have the same God. This is Eloise. So Eloise Hawking is the mother of Daniel Faraday on Lost, so she's she plays some like Wait. important mother characters. Yeah. yeah, she's she's been an important mother. Mm-hmm. Does she have any kids, or like, is she is she just a TV? Data and Daniel Faraday. Garrett O'Connor is who she's married to. Data. <laughs> That's kind of amazing, though, that like Data and Daniel Faraday are. Um, 
you know. Didn't they just kill off Daniel Faraday? I'm pretty sure. I can't even remember. Yeah, I, 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 it out yeah. And delete. I liked him too. Oh, Watching well. the Caravan of Courage. <laughs> <laughs> you just pick it up. There is a. There's a. Tinker Bell is fighting. <laughs> it's a wistie. Gorzak or whatever the hell his name is, and. Or there's a wistie buzzing around his armpit. Ew. What is wrong with that Ewok? <laughs> Ewok. I think that's Tony. I think that's Whittle. I think I that's think Tony ha- Cox. I think he has, like, leprosy. And... Oh, oh, wow. You just, like, punched him with that axe. <laughs> Take my axe. Oh, axe. this is like that scene when Boromir died. Oh. <laughs> in Lord of the Rings. You kind of need your axe. Spoiler. Spoilers yeah, on that geez. one, too. Oh, man. This kid's an ugly crier. <laughs> Oh, who was it we that should... I, I remember? He was like Zoe de Chanel or something, or Zoe. I don't know how you say her name anymore, but Zoe de Chanel. Zoe de Chanel, and like I saw her cry in a movie, and I was just like, oh, <laughs> ooh, no, 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 stop crying. Not a good look. What are you doing? The worst on screen crier I've ever seen is actually Maggie Gyllenhaal. Um, whenever Maggie Gyllenhaal cries, it's just not good. Well, my worst. In general, people people's faces are just weird when they cry. Like, my worst crier really is weird. Farrah Abraham from Teen Mom. Um. <laughs> I'm not familiar with the Teen Mom canon. Is that canon with Star Wars? I'm not familiar with Definitely. what's happening in the scene. So basically, the giant the giant monster <laughs> is chasing after them in somewhat so slow, by the weirdly thing. slow motion. God, he's like a Star Trek monster. Like not even next generation, but like classic star trek monster yeah it's like, like star it's... trek or doctor who yeah are yeah it's like doctor who like doing? are they are they tripping him <laughs> they're going to trip him they're the oldest trick in the book he doesn't see them standing to the side he's gonna like, keep walking forward and he's trip dumb over this rope he's dumb he looks like he sees it oh, he's really drunk <laughs> oh, well, yeah, i wanted that to just oh. fail miserably oh, oh yeah oh my god just, like, are they gonna over? use him as a bridge Please tell me they're going to use him as the bridge. Yeah. He, he, oh, God, his nipple is on screen. Ew! I don't want to... <laughs> oh, God. What the fuck, movie? No. Oh, oh, oh we're using oh. magic again. Glitter magic. God, his nipple is once again on screen. Get oh. your nipple off the screen, buddy. Man, I really want a magic stick. Oh. 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 Ow. Death becomes him. Nope. Not yet. Type. Him and his nipple are still get. God, oh, that God. nipple is the only thing I can see now. Couldn't they cover it up with a little tuft of hair or something? Like, pew, pew, it's pew, just pew. like. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, was she, did she get a proton pack? Like, what was that? Oh God. Oh. And he's. Why is this? <laughs> what the hell was that? Then? <laughs> that was the greatest oh, fall honey. I've ever oh, seen. Oh, honey, that was the greatest. Yeah, you're right. That was the greatest death. That was maybe the greatest death ever ever seen on film. He just, like, hit that rock, and I don't even know. And then just kind of disappeared into nothingness. Apparently, like, physics don't exist here. No. It's fine. They <laughs> used the power of magic to make him... You complete. don't know. You don't the know how The spider didn't die and... when they dropped it down this cavern, That's so... That's true. Maybe he lands on, like, a bouncy wall, or, you know, it's like a you bouncy You don't know floor. how science works on this planet. Maybe there's a bunch of, like, mm. plastic balls down there. It's like a ballroom down in there. And then, oh, like, he died for all of us. When I was in college, I wanted I had like an empty room, and I really wanted to do a ballroom, but I looked into buying the balls were very expensive. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. <laughs> yeah. Come on. We're coming. Jump across the giant pit. Oh, he's oh, not dead. Yeah, oh yeah, see, there shit. is a ballroom confirmed. Confirmed. This is canon. Confirmed now. canon. Ballroom down there. Uh... Look at him. He's just. <laughs> no, wait, <laughs> God, she is so memeable. That girl is hilarious. She's kind Her of adorable. Ah! <laughs> I just want to like, I want to like, like, I want to like rip this to my hard drive and just like take this stills. This girl is just going to permanently be my current mood. <laughs> All of her faces. <laughs> and that one face where he just looks like really annoyed, like he had a face early mm-hmm. on, and he just and we're gonna repeat that effect again, only wow. slightly better. He this crashed. Well, he didn't grab the side this time. So we're led to believe that he just goes straight to the bottom instead of like being able to climb his way up. Yeah. She has a perma wedgie too. I can't wait to see all these characters yep, again nub. in The Force Awakens. It's gonna be great. Oh. Um, I'm yeah, gonna really... guess. I'm gonna guess that Mason here is Kylo Ren. I'm gonna start maybe a rumor. Definitely. On I mean, about that. Sindel is Ray. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, that, no, that she's BB-8. <laughs> we just settled it. BB-8's BB a boy. No. 
He's a robot. It's important. He doesn't need a gender. Even C-3PO isn't technically a boy. I'm obsessed with identifying gender. I must he know. He has a male voice, but he's still just a robot. We call him a Ezarina. he, but... Who the fuck is Ezarina? That's... How do we never know her name before? That's, his... that's my boo. God, he's such a creep. That's my boo. That's my boo. She's my glowing boo. I love her. Yub nub. Yub nub. Okay, nub, nub. so they're back <laughs> in a hut thing. In the hut. With the are they just going to like live with the Ewoks now? Yep. In okay. the sequel, it opens and they're like living with the... Oh, okay. Uh, and mild and really spoiler warnings the opening of this film is like the opening of the sequel is a fucking bloodbath um i'm not kidding uh it's not like bloody but no, like no my whole family was sucked into a candle i have no family <laughs> <laughs> you put that candle on my whole family died thanks for everything weird thing this is probably the best effect in the entire movie hands yeah. down it's neat i i like it oh i feel like bad yeah like he just like He's like, all right, you got to go now because we're done. Even though they are still living on here in the sequel. And they've taught all the Ewoks English. They're like the Traditional Swiss, the Swiss is what the music says there. English, or the Swiss family Ewok. Rabbits. Whoa. Rabbits is. Oh, they're dancing. Why? Wait. That Ewok was like massive compared to the little girl in that shot. It was weird. I'm telling mm. you, some of these Ewoks are real big. <laughs> <laughs> they're like monkey size. Wonk it. Wonk at the Ewok. Wonk it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go wonk at the Ewok. Oh, it's wonk The really tall Ewok. The six foot oh, five. Oh, you picked me He's... weeds. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Are these toxic? Oh, they are because my hand is swelling the second I grab them. <laughs> Thank you. We are two very lucky fathers, you and me. Yes, yes but our dick is on the back of our head. Uh, <laughs> and he, like, knocked on his head yeah. when he said that. Perfect. Wicked. Yeah, I like this place. No, I'm Nintendo, but whatever. Or I'm Nintendo's lame anyway. I don't like it. I'm cool now. I'm cool now. Although I do kind of like Nintendo still. I kind of want Nintendo. Okay, they did not put the Red Wings on the Thank small God. She did not get the Red Wings. Oh! Yeah, <laughs> but you come back in your mouth! <laughs> Ew. Why? Ew. Why? Oh, and we end up a freeze frame because everything from the 80s ends on oh, a freeze frame. God. Special guest yeah, narrator, Burl Lives. Congrats. So good. We so good. Yes. Absolutely fantabulous. Uh, good movie for kids. That was a movie. That was a movie for kids. Sprocket system. I think it's a fun idea. I think it was a I think it's a fun um I think it's a fun like little story that is a good introduction for Star Wars for kids. I think that's what it is. I think Yeah. I think I, I would love to see Disney put out, put this out again on like either DVD or Blu-ray, like since it's out of print now. And I'm, I'm really bummed that it's out of print because, you know, not a lot of people are going to necessarily be able to see it unless you look it up on YouTube. I didn't tell you to do that, though. So um, <laughs> we would never tell you to would do never tell like you that. to watch something that is technically not in print and evil collectors are char charging you like one hundred dollars to buy it. And so since it's technically not in print anymore and you have no way to see it. YouTube might be the only way you can see it, but you didn't I don't hear that here. illegally getting things like that. Phil Tippett, who is a um, stop motion artist, worked on this. It's crazy. That's awesome. Phil Tippett did the effects for RoboCop. Well, Harold Weed also did. David Fincher <laughs> did matte photography on this film. Wow. And uh, that is legit the David oh, Fincher. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Henry Selick, you may know. Uh, Henry Selick did the pixel animation. Henry Selick is the director of A Night Before Christmas. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, no, there's a lot of there's a lot of talent that came behind this movie and like really worked on it. And uh, I, I, yeah, I think it's almost worthy of theatrical release. Um, it, it. Well, it is worthy of theatrical release in New Zealand. In New Zealand, it was worthy of, of theatrical release. Um, I, I think it. Uh, it's a good kids film. It's a good introduction to the Star Wars universe. Uh, it's not necessary. It's a little on the dry side at times. It's a little TV movie esque, but yeah. I'd say on the whole, though, I'd say it's a it's a fun story. Um, good effects for TV, and actually, you know, a pretty decent little piece of of kind of a cult Star Wars history. It's definitely not a a 
uh, main attraction, but but something worth seeing. It was a good time. It was yeah. a good time. It's a goofy movie. If you like Ewoks, it's it's a lot of fun. Um, I'm really excited to check out uh, Battle for Endor, which is the the sequel. Um, and we'll be doing a commentary on that as well. And like I mentioned before, we got uh, commentaries for episodes one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're also doing these two Ewok movies and the holiday special around Christmas time. Oh. Um, any final <laughs> thoughts, Katie? Um, expressionless. Your expression of this movie had you just, you were breathless from minute one to. Yes, to, definitely. Uh, one hour and 36 minutes. I mean, it was entertaining on many levels. Yeah. So it's entertaining. It's a little bad, a little good, a little interesting, a little wonky, a little weird. A little frightening. It's at a times. fun. It's a fun magic story. Um, though you know, if you're a stickler for continuity, it's going to be a little frustrating. Where did we land on the the cosplay debate? I'm 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 not sure. <laughs> you're undecided. I think you should do a cosplay of of an Ewok Mad Max Fury Road. <laughs> that, that's kind of entertaining. Not only would people like probably you know hark the shit out of that on Twitter. <laughs> But but you might even get one or two retweets out of that one. Whoa, one or Whoa. two. Yeah. My God, one or two. I, I'm not sure who would do it though. Warwick Davis, maybe. Should I tweet at him? You should yes. tweet Warwick Davis, and you should retweet. Okay. Or you should tweet it at. Um, is Nicholas Holt on Twitter? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just find like the number one <laughs> Mad Max Fury Road fan, and then tweet them. Okay, I will do that. No, right. no big deal. Just you know, internet it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm going to go as Wonkit, the really tall, six foot five, 300 pound um, Ewok who is just, just gargantuan. And confused with the Wookiee. Yeah. Just so you all know, we have finished watching Ewok's Caravan of Courage. The credits have played, and we are now looking at the DVD menu. All right, folks. Uh, this concludes today's episode of Commentary Time. Uh, my name is Randy. You can follow me on Twitter at RL Schaefer Writes. You can also find me at permanentlygeek.com and at rlschafer.com. Katie, where can we find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Nerd Girl Cosplay. Also on Facebook, if you search Nerd Girl Cosplay, it'll come up. Cool. Dana? Um, I'm also on Instagram and Twitter at Daily Dana. Rockin'. So that's it, folks. We will see you on the next commentary, which will be uh, Battle for Endor. will be coming up uh, next week. Or if you're listening to this in the future, it's already up. So look for it. <laughs> so uh, if you're watching us from the past, if you're watching us in the past, I don't know how. And let, maybe send us an email. <laughs> let us know how time travel works. So Please. Uh, thank you so much for listening. Subscribe to our channel. Check us out. Permanently Geek. We've got a ton of stuff up there. Um, again, thank you so, so much. Take care. Dana. Good night. Night. Goodbye. <laughs> For now.